Hello, and welcome to SciPerf Test Drive. Thank you for registering to try our product. At this point, you will have already accepted the terms and conditions on the website and asked to start your trial. In this Getting Started video, I'm going to walk you through the basics of navigating the Cloud Sandbox. The Sandbox is where you can run the laboratory exercises using our test tool, SciPerf. You'll be redirected to this page where you'll run your lab environment. At the top of the screen, you will have an Environment Actions dropdown where you can run common actions that can be applied to all Cloud Sandboxes. On the left-hand side, you'll have a control panel. This is where you'll interact with various parts specific to your test drive. The first thing you can do is click on the link for SciPerf Labs. That will direct you to our GitHub location where you can go, download, and access files related to this laboratory. There is a README that explains everything located here, including associated configuration files to run the test cases for your labs. You will also have access to the full SciPerf GitHub repository under Keysight. And you can go there for other additional deployment templates that you may want to run after your test drive is over. Back over in the lab environment, that's where I access the link for public clouds. If you click on that, you'll see that the environment is currently being deployed. It is deployed through Terraform, and that takes some time, so please be patient. It's going to take about five to six minutes, give or take, to create it. If you'd like to watch what's going on there, you can go ahead and do that. In fact, it's very quick. Sometimes it's as quick as under five minutes. In this particular case, it took five minutes and four seconds, so it's very rapid. We give you a full two hours to execute your lab, so we want to give you plenty of time to review the lab document and run through the exercises. You can click on the output here. You can follow along and see everything that was constructed using the industry standard Terraform to do that. If you go all the way to the end, There's a couple of pieces of information that you can certainly copy and paste directly. You will need the public IP or public DNS for the SciPerf controller, as well as the load balancer DNS name. Those are two key pieces of information you can get from the AWS environment itself. If you're only interested in running the labs, you can optionally scroll to the bottom here of the public cloud log and get those directly. That's enough information to actually open up and connect to SciPerf and get running with your exercises. If you'd like to see more about what's going on under the hood, you can click on public cloud again. I'm gonna close this. And these are the AWS credentials to get to Amazon Web Services. The lab documentation will have much more detail and guide you step-by-step -step through the labs. So that's basically the test drive in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.